sitting in here listening to the track commentary and uh you know you know some of the people that uh they they run for you know money and they talk about when you're in the 200 about where your lane is and where you know if you're on the inside lane and all that and you're like no it's when you come out of the stagger on the the turn and the curve and stuff like that you're all coming into the straightaway at the same uh place when it goes out of curve and into the straightaway it all comes it all happens at the same spot okay so you're running in the same amount of curve it's just an optical illusion thinking that the person on the inside has more of a curve than the outside just stay in your lane and focus on your race okay if you you it's an optical illusion okay where the curve turns into a straightaway is all at the same spot. All right, do you understand? It's, if you're watching the other people, it discourages you because you think they're ahead of you. Okay. Because you're racing, you're racing to win. Okay. You want to be the winner. Okay. Life is eternal and grace is infinite. All right. Just have the faith of Father Abraham. Stay in your lane so you don't trip anybody else trying to be the winner. Okay? It's not that hard. It's really easy. Okay. Chief Gilliard, the traffic, you know, when he talked about if, you know, he's just, if everybody stayed in their lane and did this and just the traffic would move smoothly and everybody would be on their way. But the thing is, you all have to leave on time. Uh, and you all have to be, you see what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, is there is no time that is assigned to anyone that is their own, that they can enforce their perception of owning time on others. Do you understand? Okay. Abraham lived and he died and is an eternal light of faith and infinite glory. Do you understand? Okay. I'm watching the Olympics. You know me. It's, I'm the Messiah. Okay. Right now, the focus on the eternal light of faith and infinite glory in the world today is on this YouTube uh, channel. Okay. So the reflection of me reflecting the faith and infinite glory like Father Abraham okay, is reflected on this YouTube channel. Okay. And this is from what I've seen, this is, this is the only place in the world where you can get that. Because they're not talking about this at the Vatican. They're not talking about this at the Olympics. They're not reflecting immaculate, perfect, beautiful, Job-like, loving faith anywhere else. If there is, if there is I, you know, I, I don't have access to them. I don't know about it. They're in some other portion of the United States or other country being uh, anonymously abused and 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 and. and treated like shit by the assholes on TV advertising and saying, you got to win. Winning isn't for everyone. Your road to greatness is, is may have many obstacles in the way, but you will overcome those obstacles to be a putz for fucking dumb. <laughs> okay, do you understand? <laughs> okay. I'm funny. I don't give a fuck what all you assholes with egomania problems say. <laughs> Go make a movie. Oh, these movies are atrocious, right? And this affects everybody's thought process. Okay? This don't let a, a, a man, the killer, okay? On Peacock. This affects everybody's thought process, okay? Whatever you put out into the universe, the metaverse, the sneakiverse, and the fuckiverse, okay, affects everybody's thoughts, okay? So these people are solving crimes for people killing over money, showing up in cars with guns and pieces of paper that say this is a warrant from an asshole that's on the supreme putzes of fuck you dumb, writing down uh, symbols on pieces of paper saying, the, he signed your bill, now you're a law. You just turned a bunch of assholes in Washington, D.C. into gravity in your mind, right? Like Jesus told to me, you know, I was getting this feeling today about people, he's, he's like, no, Earl, they don't believe in a make-believe character that's better than you. The make-believe character that they believe in, okay, to replace you, you're better than he is, okay? The Jesus 
most people think they believe in and think they have faith in that Jesus is their God is a moody, um, mysterious, bitchy woman asshole. Okay, She never make up her fucking mind. She gives you free will to act like a bitch and get away with it till you accept her as your omnipotent, omnipotent God. Okay? She kills anybody she wants to, at any time she wants to, and it's all mysterious. Okay, yes! Okay. That's the bitch that most people have turned our Lord Jesus Christ to in their head. This supposed to be better than me. Okay? Jesus, from Constantine's fairy tales is inferior to me, okay? I am an eternal, perfect, loving, faithful father who does not waver from faith and infinite glory like Job, okay? I'm not a bitch up in the clouds with a NASA science project fucking everybody's head because I want to keep them miserable and kill them so I can be the great problem solver with make-believe money being value and my science projects being the administer of that value, okay? So, no, Jesus from Constantine's books is inferior to me, okay? I am a better life form, a better human being. Okay? I'm not a god, and neither is Constantine. Okay, God is omniscient and omnipotent. God is the essence of all life. We have free will to reject faith in the glory of God and the understanding of natural laws to sustain our physical life's so sacrifice through the gift of the grace, the glory of God. Okay, do you understand? All right. So, it's, no. Jesus told me that. He goes, no, Earl, the, 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 the Jesus in Constantine's book is a bitch. Okay, you're way better than she is. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Jesus is right. <laughs> in my head, in my head, dummies, dummies, zombies with money. Um, so, yeah. No, the Jesus in my head is better than the Jesus in your Constantine book. Because he's not moody and he's not bitchy. I'm not moody at all. I'm very consistent. Live the Lord's Prayer or I'm going to have to eventually um, get your technology to have to put you down like I'm the boy with Fess Parker's gun putting down old Yeller. Yeah. Okay. It's happening, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, do you understand? Trust the numbers. Coverage presented by Salesforce. And these people get cocky and they have business partners here in town. It'll be if we ran you over the parking lot of the Best Buy and you never existed. Do, 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 do. We will mind fuck you with a scan disc MP3 with Neil deGrasse Tyson and the Pussycats. It's like, oh, fuck, what a bunch of idiots. Hey, ghost gaze at the stars and ask for money for, to do it. It's like, what? And he thinks he's brilliant. He sat there and said, we have too many lawyers in Congress. We mean more scientists. Okay, the lawyers who write down gibberish and call it laws in Congress and the Supreme Court are all told what to do by science projects that can kill you, okay? So why do we need scientists who have poor people skills and have mental disabilities, okay, in Congress, because they, if, they, if you put the scientists in Congress, they would be like Sheldon and Kripke and Winkle, and you'd be like, oh, my gosh, no one wants to vote for these assholes. They're uh, terrible liars. Okay, Like Sheldon with the line, you know, stuff. He goes, he goes how long does he got to stay here? You, you, have no, you know, it's, it takes a lot of, you know, <laughs> the lies on TV. It's, all, it's obviously scientists behind them, okay, coming up with, okay. Now we're going to get Leopold, and he was sodomized by a priest in the Philippines, right? <laughs> okay, do you understand? Okay. They tell you about themselves. Cabo, the sheriff dude with the gay Vasquez thing, okay? he's addicted to getting in a car and chasing down people that do crimes because it's a dopamine rush. And he says it on TV. Okay. Once you start, I did it for so many years. Once it gets into your blood, you can't stop it. It's like a, it's an addiction, right? Like uh, Graham of Thorns and cop shows and doink doink, right? Dick Wolf shows. And so once you get that brain chemical addiction, you get addicted to it. You got to solve the puzzle. You got Bobby the Fisher. You got to check the mate, right? And so it's like, no, yes, it's okay, he's crazy. And he's sitting there and they're all part of these scientists creating problems to be syndrome 
And then he sits there and says, well, Gabe Vasquez is keeping your family safe. He, what does he know? He can't keep his own family safe from his brain chemical addiction to chasing down people and, and incarcerate them or possibly killing them because other, they will kill other people for money just like he will. The fuck does he know? Don't listen to that fucking oh, mean faced little old man. He, besides, he's so mean and he's so agitated and he's so grumpy. I mean, look at his body. Look what that uh, brain chemical addiction did to his body. You know, they torture me all the hell. And I don't look nearly as rough as him because I won't try to hunt him down and kill him in Mexico for money. Makes his money off of other people's taxes. Ooh, take the money and run. Ooh, Lord. Don't say Lord and uh, take the money and run in the same sentence. That's uh, Don't use the Lord's name in vain when making limericks over fuck money. Those two guys just kicking the shit out of each other for your entertainment on there. Yeah, one's from the U.S. And I, where's the other one from? Canada or something? Like, no, he's from Italy. He's Italiano. Yeah. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, it's a piece of metal hanging from your uh, neck with a piece of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, this is happening, sweethearts. And the apocalypse has already been performed by the perfect man who's better than your bitch in your head that has you all fighting over money. And the technology people are a bunch of brain chemical addicted pimps to turn you all into their, their prostitutes. Smile for the camera, pig. All right.